I'm Tadala Amara from University of Gondar College of Medicine and uh, Health Science Department of Psychiatry. I will present the prevalence and associated factors of postpartum depression in Ethiopia systematic review and meta-analysis. Here is the outline, the introduction, objectives, method, result, discussion, conclusion, and recommendation, sample of reference and acknowledgement. In the introduction part, postpartum depression is a mood disorder that involves in the brain and that affects the social and physical health of the woman after delivery. Depression is a major public health problem that affects more than 350 million people in the world. Of these, women are also twofold greater than men during their lifetime. Globally, depression, depressive disorders are common, chronic, and a principal source of disability among women. In the United States uh, of America, approximately 12 million women experience clinical depression in each year. In the review, the prevalence of postpartum depression that ranges from 4.0 to 63.9 percent. In low and middle income countries, that estimated the prevalence of uh, depression among women ranges from 15 to 28 percent in Asia and Africa by using different uh, assessment tools. In postnatal period, the rates of the first onset and severe depression are three times higher than in other periods of women, women's life. Parents. I mean, parenting stress and mother-child interaction problem are common in postnatal uh, depression mothers because in the mother who has a depression that affects you know the, the child and mother relationship, it increases poorer self-care, <coughs> maternal uh, morbidity, and has a negative effect on infants, child, and families. The, the disorder is often unrecognized and untreated despite the potentially deleterious effects of postpartum depression on the mother, infant, and children. Here is the objectives. One is, what is the estimated full prevalence of postpartum depression in Ethiopia? And the second one is, what are the associated factors of postpartum depression in Ethiopia? Method and material. And the method in database we used different electronics that to assess or to find different literatures or articles that relate to postpartum depression. The website that we use this PubMed, PsychInfo, Web, Web of Science, Embase, uh, Sinal, Scopus, and the Cochrane Library and Mesh Terms were used. During these 780 articles, 80 articles were found on this 11 were included in our study. All of the articles were conducted with cross-sectional study design and study subjects were all mothers who give delivery. And articles were also published in English language, the case as postpartum depression, study areas. All the studies were conducted in Ethiopia. Study year, which is from January 2010 to January 2020. Softwares were startup version 14 were used to analyze and ice statistics value, which is 19.5.1, with p value of less than or equal 0.01, uh, were considered and model random effect model was used. In the result and discussion, you know, the prevalence of postpartum depression among women, which is related to uh, study area in Ethiopia, uh, which ranges from 12.2% to 33.8%. But the full prevalence of postpartum depression in Ethiopia was 22.08 with 95 confidence interval of 17.66 to 26.49. And the postpartum depression is high. This is due to the life stress events, that is the social economic factors and physical as well as emotional demands of childbearing and care of a new baby and changes a hormonal, uh, hormones affect delivery. 
the cons this study is also constant uh, study then in different you know countries the the comparison was compared with a systematic review studies in india which is 22 iran 25.3 and 556 countries that also included in one study that shows 17.7 percent the reason might be individuals who are living in a low-income countries experience more stress and associated with depression anxiety than high income countries <clears throat> and this study is also higher than the study done in Denmark which accounts 15 percent the discrepancy might be due to beyond the absence of awareness of postpartum depression by health experts there are issues that may be barrier to early recognition and management of postpartum depression in low and the middle income countries where compared with the high income country. When we come to with the associated factors of postpartum depression, unplanned pregnancy and postpartum depression, as you know, uh, seven articles were included in unplanned pregnancy when compared with a planned pregnancy or wanted pregnancy around three times, you know, more likely to develop depression. In unplanned pregnancy when compared with planned pregnancy the reason might be during the conception period psychological preparedness is very important to the mother and unless there will be a mental health problem unplanned pregnancy leads to the mother to feel unhappy and has uh, a negative if uh, and negative you know, consequences for uh, the mother as well as for you know, the children. And social support as well as postpartum uh, depression. Three studies were included in this uh, study. So individuals or mothers who have poor social support were about four times more likely to develop depression when compared to the mother who had a strong social support. You know, this can be also supported with different articles or researches. The reason behind is that social support is a significant for maintaining a good mental and physical health, and it has high quality to resilience and you know, stress. And the mother who reported constant opportunity to interact and talk with people were more likely to report reduction in distress. In other words, you know, mothers who had stress that share their stress with others can reduce by 50%. And when you see the domestic violence, five articles were included in this study. Mothers who had a history of domestic violence were about three times more likely to develop depression when compared with their counterparts. Other studies that revealed mothers who had a history of violence and abuse from husband, violence has a negative effect on mother, I mean mental health, mothers uh, who are also violent had a feeling of helplessness and then had depression. And then there will also experience, there will be also experienced fatal actors like suicide to end their lives. And when we come to the conclusion and recommendation, postpartum depression was high in Ethiopia in different you know articles that is a systematic review and factors that associated with postpartum depression were unplanned pregnancy for social support domestic violence where you know the risk or or associated factors that affect postpartum depression therefore ethiopian policymakers health personnel particular particularly you know obstetrician and gynecologists please give better attention to more or we can say or more emphasis on mothers who had history of unplanned pregnancy those who have domestic violence and mothers who are also poor social support and finally here is also the samples of uh, reference and acknowledgement session the author would like to thank all authors of the research paper included in this systematic review and meta-analysis. My gratitude also goes to Ethiopia Society of Obstetrician and Gynecologists to allow me to present 
this research conference and finally i would like to say thank you very much <laughs>